battle for Lagos can easily be termed, for the time being, as the mother of all political battles in Nigerian politics. The most talked about man at the moment is none other than current Lagos State Governor, Akinwumi Ambode. Roots TV sources have indicated that Ambode is trying hard to defend his last castle. He is fighting the odds for a second term ticket in the All Progressives Congress, APC, and the reason is not a secret. Tinubu, the godfather of Lagos State and popular Jagaban, as he is known, is said to have officially taken away his support from the incumbent governor, Ambode. This was confirmed with the official declaration of Sanwa Olu that he will be running for the APC gubernatorial ticket. Just after obtaining the nomination form, the Mandate Movement, a political group loyal to Tinubu, prompted endorsed Sanwa Olu to contest the 2019 governorship poll. This divide is certainly not auguring well for the ruling party, which itself is trying its best to stop the unstoppable chain of defection. But for the People's Democratic Party, it is nothing less than what we call a blessing in disguise. PDP in Lagos State has said that the party will readily welcome Governor Akinwumi Ambode if he joins. However, does PDP party leadership share the sentiment? Roots TV sources have confirmed that some prominent members of the APC have attempted to bring peace to the situation. Vice President Oshibanjo held a meeting with those involved over the weekend, but with no results. So, is it the catch-22 scenario for the APC in Lagos? Would the PDP be able to take advantage of this situation? Roots TV talked to political observers. Why you have two giant political parties struggling for the seat of power in the state? Of course, any slip by APC gives PDP a very big advantage. So if the feud between Governor Mbode and his political godfather Tinubu continues, of course, PDP will reap bountifully from that uh, particular feud. But should they come back and perhaps some elders step in, then they will give PDP a run for their money. But that does not discountenance the strength of PDP there. Because the bottom line is free, fair, credible elections. And just what do you think the public think about this? Should a single person's endorsement hold so much power in a state? Tinebu, we are, I'm a, a base in Lagos. I can see Tinebu work is doing very, very well. Uh, Ambode government is doing very, very well. So for me, I would have loved to see Tinibu has gone for the second time because uh, for him to move Lagos, Lagos as a mega city, so he's trying his best. If we learn to do the right thing, come into the office by the choice of the people, we are not going to experience situation like this. So what, what I would like to say is uh, what goes around comes around, so it's like uh, it's a normal thing. What is happening in Lagos State is not fair. What Tinubu is doing, Tinubu is trying to make himself a god of himself. It's not good. And he should allow anybody's opinion to say because it's not the masses. I wish the Nigerian youth to wake up and tell all the old food to stop that. Lagos is a very economically important state in Nigeria. Both major parties want to hold power in the state. The battle for Lagos would definitely be a major showdown. <laughs>